what is important is what how you are preparing it doesn't matter but important is which you are going to uh, take in your all engineering okay of four years okay so approximately 80 percent subject so first what you have to do that like, you should be very sound at mathematics because this mathematics is going to in this month you are going to cover this in the college hello students hope everyone is good okay so today session is for gate 2026 roadmap for chemical engineering so in today's session we are going to see how you can prepare from your self-study or for by joining any coaching how it will be beneficial for you so that you can crack the gate 2026 examination with a very flying colors and a very good AIR rank in the gate 2026 examination okay so here some things you have to see is that roadmap for this you have to strictly follow this whether you are in a self-study or coaching it's your choice okay but the most important thing is you have to follow your timetable okay whether you are doing coaching whether you are doing the self-study okay but if you are not following the timetable you are not going to get a very good rank okay so for mostly for college going students what happens if they are doing a uh, self-study okay at some times your college examination will come okay you will be confused because your most of the doubts are not clear okay uh, sometime okay you in your college gatherings will be there in college internships will be there so at one point you will become a frustrated or you will may become demotivated okay so for that what is important is what how you are preparing it doesn't matter but important is you should follow the timetable okay that is very much important okay second whatever the timetable you have made it should be followed in very disciplined manner it is just not like that you will follow for seven days and for another 10 days you will not follow again you will follow for 10 days for another 20 days you will not follow don't do like that okay if you want a very good rank you should strictly follow it okay discipline second you have to do the pyqs because these pyqs will give you the very much confidence that how much preparation you have done because sometimes what will happen from inner mind you are thinking that you know that particular topic very well but it may happen that after applying the pyq you are not able to solve that question it means you are not good at that particular co concept okay you are not able to apply you have don't have a very good application of that particular topic okay so this will tell you okay just like doctor it will give you okay after doing the test okay it will segregate okay you are not good at that follow this you are not good at this follow this so this pyq and test series will just like your doctor okay just like your test it will give you that okay for particular topic you are lagging so you have to give more time on that so you have to do all these things okay and finally is the revision because the revision is the key to success every time you have to keep revising it okay so that you remember all the concept because gate is not about only one subject okay another uh, for the slides i am going to explain okay it is about all the technical subjects which you are going to uh, take in your all engineering okay of four years okay so approximately 80 percent subjects are followed in that gate okay so that is why you have to keep revising it so that it will be beneficial for your college examination also it will be beneficial for your gate examination also okay so first we will see the non-technical subjects so non-technical subjects are uh, aptitude english mathematics so almost it will cover 28 marks so these 28 marks are huge okay you cannot neglect it okay so first what you have to do that like, you should be very sound at mathematics because this mathematics is going to use in every subject in your core subjects okay so this if you are good at mathematics it is a two-way win for you you will uh, score a very good uh, marks in the mathematics you will score a very good marks in the technical subjects also because when in technical subjects okay you know the concept but the point will come one mathematics will be required to solve a particular numerical question so this should not happen that you should you know every concept and everything but due to mathematics you are not able to solve that question so this should not happen that is why mathematics plays a very important role approximately 13 to 14 marks okay and for de students and for other branch students it may vary up to 30 marks also but for chemical engineering it is about 13 marks okay so that is why you should be very sound at mathematics it is going to a crucial role for getting a very good rank in the gate examination okay 
next talking about the core subjects so core subjects you have process calculation thermodynamics fluid mechanics heat transfer process design and economics mechanical operation chemical reaction engineering chemical technology mass transfer process dynamic and control okay so if you see some short subjects are there so i will write this is short subject okay then this is so short subject this is short subject this is short subject okay so these are the four subjects which are very short okay heat transfer you can say medium level okay but other subjects are very core subjects okay so when you are preparing suppose for fluid mechanics so you do it parallelly with some short subjects what is the benefit of this the benefit of this is basically if you get bored if you get some demotivated if you are thinking that you are applying same and same question daily if you are reading same thing daily so parallelly you start with process calculation say it's your choice everybody will give you their suggestion this is my suggestion you can follow your own suggestion own suggestion own way but what is important is that you should get a very good rank in the gate examination that is very very important for this okay so you should strictly follow what's your mind say what's your heart say but important is you should get a very good rank in the gate 2026 okay so in this way these are the core subjects these core subjects are going to be very useful for you in the semester examination also so while you can go parallelly also some subjects which you have seen that it is going in your college also so you can parallelly do the pyqs you can apply the gate questions for that subject also so that another a win win situation for both the sides in semester examination you will get good marks your cgpa will increase and uh, normally you will get a good rank in the gate examination for that particular subject also so that is why it is very important to strictly follow your timetable okay you have a timetable in your of your college also so see which subjects are there in your semester examination so that you can prepare that subject parallelly for gate examination and one extra subject also so that for gate 2026 you will be very very sound knowledge of all the subject okay got it so now if you see month wise plan okay so now it is november is going so i will assume it done uh, november is your uh, uh, end sem examination is going on so from december you can start it okay so you have a december okay so this we i am talking about 2025 this is the basically last uh, you can say uh, 2024 okay last month okay that is december from january you will start with 2025 okay so now every month okay you have jan feb march april may june you have you know that you are going to do internship most probably in the month of may and june okay so how to prepare in that you know that in april again you have a end sem mid sem examination so plan okay for month wise you should plan okay and this feb is the gate 2026 year okay this is gate 2026 okay so you have a gate to 26 examination here so you have such a lot of time it may seem that lot of time but again your gatherings your internships your end sem your mid sem so plan accordingly month wise okay so you have a college time table you know everything of your college okay so plan accordingly month wise that in this month you are going to cover this technical subject in the college so prepare for gate also one subject extra also so everything you have to prepare month wise side and keep this mostly this is for revision okay this is for revision and test series okay this month is specifically for revision and test series means target up to 90% or 80% of syllabus should you should complete it okay if one subject is there it's no issue parallelly you can start revision and test series okay and this is all your internship and everything will be going there okay this is specifically i am telling uh for the college going students those who are not college going students okay maybe in 2000 after 2025 they can take a drop also so they have huge time here okay so they can utilize it they can read the recommended books also so that they feel more confident and apply as much as questions and everything okay because what is important is your rank it doesn't important that how many times revision you are doing how many questions you are attempting how you what is your time table it doesn't matter at all the important thing is you should get a very good rank with a conceptual and theoretical knowledge so that it is going to be beneficial with you with all the upcoming exams okay which is related to the gate examination okay so hope in this video i have cleared
okay hope in this video i have cleared all your doubts regarding the gate 2026 examination still if you have doubt so write the, your comments okay i will try to reply all that okay and we will meet okay as the more sessions will be coming okay so in that live session also we will meet okay up to then you can follow this timetable okay so best of luck thank you jai hind